Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are actually not going to be continuing where we left off. As you can see, this is not the same bot that we had before. In fact, let me move this weapon right here so it can recharge right there. No? Yeah, there it is. So basically, uh, this is a saved game from one of our previous playthroughs. It's a base bot, and as you can see, if we zoom in a little bit, I have my entire base hidden in the actual bot. It's protected uh, for the most part. There is a few uh, places where it can still get hit there on the side, which we will get into uh, covering pretty soon here, but there is a huge, huge yellow bot up there in the front, which I am going to avoid for the first few minutes, so I can tell you guys a little bit why I am playing this one rather than continuing off of our old save game. And the reason behind it basically is off camera I decided that I was going to uh, try to build up a little bit of cash by you know going out and harvesting and while I was doing that and you can kinda see here I can do the same thing it picks up the items and it sells it for me and I can make quite a bit of cash doing it this way on the other game I kinda had to go off with my bot by itself and uh, you know pick up the items and bring it back to my base and while I was doing that of course more bots were spawning but I didn't want to really take on a whole bunch of bots and maybe get some new items off camera. So I was doing my best to avoid the fights altogether. And because I was doing that, I don't know if it's a glitch or if I've just never gone that long without fighting, but the bots kept spawning. And I was avoiding them and avoiding them and avoiding them. And eventually, one of the bots found their way to my base uh, and to me and started attacking me, which was fine. I ended up trying to destroy it, and I did but it caused some kind of weird, uh, you know, call for help, and all the other bots that had been spawning for the last hour and a half decided to show up at the exact same time, which probably wouldn't have been that bad of a thing if there wasn't, like, 15 of them attacking me uh, and my base, and so trying to protect my base puts me in an awkward position to take most of the hits, and because I didn't have shields, or, you know, repair uh, module on my base, because at the time we didn't have batteries yet, uh, and without battery packs, and you can kind of see them on my bot right there, that's what's getting charged right now, and I actually have like 20 ba little battery packs on my bot right now, because I killed a huge bot like mine earlier, and he had a whole, whole bunch of them on there. Now, unfortunately, like I said, they destroyed my base, and they destroyed my bot, so there wasn't really a whole lot for me to do. I did have my uh, my terminal because, again, these things right here are supposed to be uh, undestructible or indestructible. So they can't be uh, destroyed, and therefore you can always rebuild your bot that way. But I didn't have a lot of cash because I used what little I had to buy new weapons, hoping I could defeat the fight and come back into it and things of that sort. So uh, chances are I'll just have to start that over again. Uh, that whole thing, and I'll do that off-camera, get me back to as close a point as I possibly can, but because work has been so hectic this week, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to play, and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without any episodes. Uh, besides that, my brother is coming down, he's in the Marine Corps, and he'll be coming down for, uh, I believe it's like 10 or 12 days. Didn't really give me a lot of notice, so I'm working extra shifts this week uh, at work to try to get a little bit of time off as well. And uh, that's going to give me even less time to play. But uh, don't fret, guys, because as soon as that is over with, in about two weeks here, TerraTech will be going to daily episodes. So if you want your your fix, hopefully you will stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're going to be playing this, this save game right here. And this bot is pretty cool. The only downside to this save game, and it's one of the reasons I actually started it over with a new patch, and this is still uh, the same patch that we were playing on the the previous previous save that I just lost, uh, so it still has all the new stuff in there, but one of the main reasons I started over is it doesn't have a, uh, a bot to actually build anything with. I, I don't have that piece. In fact, let me put this down on the ground. There it is. And I'll click on it, and I'll show you what blocks that I do have. Now, these are all my GSO blocks right here. I got all the standard ones, the wills, the weapons. Uh, in fact, I got quite a few weapons. I got the flatbed tractor, I got the, the cab so I can build more of those. I do got the AI, I have the radar, rotating anchor, I even have some of the jet boosters and the hover plates which are kind of rare to get, they're not, not as easy to find. 
uh, delivery cannon, all that stuff. Uh, I don't have, let's see, let's go down a little further. I even have a, a tall solar generator, uh, the battery pack finally, shield gener or the shield bubble and the repair bubble, wireless charger. And let's see, let's go down, where is it at? A little further down here, the refinery. I don't have a refinery uh, 2 or the GSO 2 slot refinery. I don't have any of these, the 3 slot refinery and stuff like that. So I can't actually build with my bot at the moment. The only thing I can do is buy the pieces that I've discovered. And that's kind of unfortunate because it does kind of limit me from finding new recipes and things of that sort. I do have all of these pieces so I can build a really, really fast bot uh, later down the road if I really want to as well. And then of course I have the Geocorp ones and I have quite a few of these. I got the big boy wheels. I also have just the the regular workaday wheels, which are kind of nice. They're just not as capable as the big ones. I really, really like the big ones. Those are the ones that are on my bot right now. And I got the tractor pads. Uh, I don't have some of the longer bo blocks or the uh, the Geocore jaw wheels. I've actually seen those. I just didn't pick them up because I didn't want to get into a fight without you guys watching. Uh, so let's see. What else do I have? The special. Uh, I mean, yeah, the specials are here. But, I mean, there's not a whole lot that I can do too much with these. This is basically for decorating. You can't do a whole lot. Uh, in fact, I'm missing the ice cream cone. Oh, that sucks. We had the ice cream cone on our last saved one. That's almost worth it to go back because I really enjoy that hat. And then the experimental. I don't have any of the experimental because, again, this was just added with the last patch. Uh, so I haven't discovered any of those yet. Let's go back out. Now, I have uh, found and, and put on a scrapper. And the scrapper's kind of cool. Anything you throw in here, it will deconstruct uh, into pieces and give you the recipe for it. So you can kind of see over here. In fact, let me turn the camera so the map's not in the way of the uh, description. In fact, I guess it's still going to be kind of in the way. But you can see the recipe for just the regular GSO block, which is just these right here. Uh, three of these will make the longer ones. You would have to have the refinery that does three pieces at once to be able to make that. Uh, and then I have some ones that are a little bit more advanced, like the GSO small generator, which is this Therma Ignit, and then you got the, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one, and then you got these as well. So it's kind of cool. Some of these are refined bo blocks. Let me go ahead and click that off. Some of these are, are refined blocks, and then like this one, refined with a not refined block. So you got to keep that in mind if you want to make, what is that anyways? I think that is a one of these over here, which is a delivery cannon, yeah, so make sure I pick that back up. I don't want to leave that behind when I take off. And we will actually go back to where I have pieces of my base. Uh, you know what? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll go fight that bot. I don't know if we'll win, though, because I don't really have a lot of weapons on this guy. Uh, he was rather defenseless there for a long time. In fact, what is this? Why on earth is this out here? This is my shield generator. Now I'm going to move that and hide it down there in that little cubby hole, which is where I have a lot of my other stuff. Can I get it a little further? Come on, go a little further down. I eh, wish I could move it down one, because I know there's space down there. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. So you can see this one moves sideways because there is space. And I'll turn it so that it covers it. Come on, if you want to... No, you don't want to do that. Ah, oh, come on. How hard is it to turn to the other direction? Ugh. This is this is one of the reasons I wish it was a little bit easier, a little bit more intuitive of where you should put your stuff. And you can see right there underneath, I got plenty of space. It's just it didn't want to put it where I wanted it to go. So I guess that's good for now. Where is there another bot pretty close in there? Yep, yeah, little small one. Now I actually have kind of a hard time killing the little small ones with this bot, mainly for the fact that they all tend to run right underneath me and uh, blow up, and that causes a fair bit of damage. Let's see, is he gonna die? Come on, blow up. Did he blow up? No, he's still alive. I don't want to destroy all his pieces, because I do want to show you guys how to uh, deconstruct some of this stuff. Okay, so he blew up, and what did he leave behind? He left behind a tractor pad. So if I take this tractor pad and throw it up here on the top, you'll see that it will pick it up, it will move it along the little conveyor belt, and then it will deconstruct it. And now, because it's deconstructing it, it will figure out what the recipe is. Let's see if I can scroll down a little bit more. There you go. And you got the 
recipe for the tractor pad and it also gave you the pieces for it so you could then again uh, deconstruct it take these pieces and make something else with them that you needed those pieces for and I'll go ahead and grab this wheel over here and do the same thing there let's see is there anything else on the ground uh, a little tiny well I don't think I got the recipe for that one either yet I mean because I didn't really have this at the beginning of the game uh, so I didn't pick up all the the small things that we probably should have had recipes for a long time ago let's see scroll down yeah see I didn't have those and they're pretty easy I mean rubber bricks uh, and then some of this plain stuff which is just all over the place the rubber bricks I don't know where you get those from they might be from trees uh, I'll have to look around I doubt they are but there's another tire there I guess I can grab nah I will leave that there I mean it's just extra cash really we're gonna come over here and kill this guy now I do have a few bots out here oh it looks like he has some base pieces maybe definitely don't want to destroy him completely come on hit him it's very very hard to hit these guys when there's heals all over the place my mortars are not very accurate with any luck I can kill this guy without destroying everything he has and he may if I get lucky have the the one piece that I'm looking for the uh, the refinery I haven't found a bot with one yet obviously but I have hopes because they do have pieces on them of base uh, like this guy has this and he has this over here what is this there uh, it's better than nothing let's see what else do we have we got some more tires I'll throw that on top uh, we got another yeah another generator shield generator those are always nice to get they're really expensive they're about six thousand uh, credits a piece so it's always nice to get one of those the repair uh, modules are a little cheaper they're around three thousand so not too bad on that of course if you have the recipe you can always just make it and it's a whole lot cheaper that way if you can find the pieces but again if you're gonna do what I'm doing which is just run around with a huge pot like this uh, you know buying the pieces really isn't that bad because you can just completely and totally annihilate an area rather quickly uh, with a bot this size what is this over here on the ground uh, another conveyor I think yeah well we'll pick that up I don't think we have that actually I think we did get that on our on our scrapper let's look at that real quick make sure we have that recipe come on scroll up uh, yeah we do we do have the conveyor it's right there you get the little blue crystal and this one right here and you can make that again you can make the scrapper as well with these resources it's pretty cool that you can do that now I did try deconstructing some of my yellow blocks because some of you said there are recipes for it. I don't know if I need a bigger scrapper or what, but it does not want to deconstruct the yellow blocks, nor does it want to deconstruct most of the uh, venture blocks either. So that's kind of weird. Either there are no recipes for it yet, which that's what I'm leaning towards because that's what some of you guys have actually said, uh, that they're just not in the game yet. Uh, or, again, you just need a better... You can see there my shields and my repair goes up. Now, again, the repair one only requires power when it's repairing your, your bot. Whereas the shield generator actually uses power all the time. And you'll see I'm getting a little bit of lag as I get closer and closer to my base or my former base before I left it. I still have quite a few blocks over here. And that's kind of what creates all that lag. Let's come over here. We'll actually pick up some of these, these yellow blocks that I have and I'll show you how it does not want to deconstruct them. It will pick them up and it will just kind of sit there and it will go over it and that's as far as it will go. It won't do anything else. Whereas if I pick up the wheels and things of that sort, it will uh, do something with that. So usually what I'll have to do is just take that off and throw it down. Pop that up there. Throw some wheels on there as well. And this gets rid of some of the lag that you may be getting on the screen because it gets rid of the blocks themselves and it gives you some cash so again highly suggest you get the scrapper or use the scrapper if you already have it it is one of those things that can be easily overlooked and for a long time I did as well it just it's expensive it's like five thousand or something to buy and you're probably thinking like well most of the pieces I get I'm gonna use well yeah for the most part but I get tons and tons of tires I don't ever use and so for me that alone would be worth it rather than having to go out here and constantly 
uh, destroy trees and resources to be able to get cash, uh, especially if you don't have a big bot like this, it's just very easily to run over stuff and, and pick it all up and, you know, you have to take it all the way back to your base every single time, which can be kind of a pain at the very beginning of the game. And you can see all these tractor pads. I will eventually cover these tractor pads up, and you can see the design that I have going so far is I have one layer in the center, and that's my main base right here in the center. And then on the, on the side, the, bo the blocks actually come out, and it's going to do the same thing over here on the left side. And then there's wheels right there. And I'll keep doing that design and keep adding another layer and another layer with wheels. And you can even go so far as to come out just one more block, allowing you to put wheels on both the left and the right side over here so that you have uh, more support. Because that's really what it comes down to, is that you just need the, the weight to be able to be evenly distributed between all your wheels. And if you, steep, if you keep getting all these messages saying, oh, it's, it's too heavy, it doesn't ha it, the wheels are overburdened, this simply means you don't have enough wheels in the right areas. And so you can come in here and kind of expand it a little bit and add a few more wheels, and that should give you that, that extra you know, weight capacity, especially when you're talking about blocks like this. You, you really kind of do need that. And we have some red, what, red what, bricks over here. We'll pick up some of those and see what they say. In fact, let's see if we can get one of them to stop moving. Let's see, can we drag one? There we go. We put it over here. If it stops moving, I'll go ahead and hover above it. And it's a rock. No real value or use. Throw it away or sell it. Okay, well, those are completely worthless, I guess. Uh, let's back up and go back over here. Now, I kind of wanted to go north because I was told that is the direction in which... In fact, let me move these pieces because they're kind of annoying me that they're they're damaged and not getting repaired. Uh, I was told that was the direction the uh, airplane is in. And I don't have that on this playthrough, and I definitely want to try getting that, because I think that would be a pretty cool thing to try out. Uh, the idea of flying around, I can only imagine, you know, how it works right now. And in my mind, I imagine a big bot like this flying around in the sky. I mean, I don't think you could probably do that. I think this would be way, way too heavy, but just the idea of, like, this giant base bot up in the sky roaming around is just... It's an amazing, amazing, uh, you know, thing to think about. Ah, I can barely hit this guy. He's so small. I'm trying to get my mortars to do it for me. Die! Come on. Is he going to blow up? You're going to blow up? Yes, you're going to blow up. In fact, I don't think I have this piece in my, my knowledge bank, so let's take that apart. Let's deconstruct that and see what that is made out of. Oh, where we go? Zoom down. Okay, so two of these yellow blocks. That's not bad. That's that's pretty easy to do. Uh, let's see. Oh, we don't have this either. So let's take this apart and see what that is made out of. This is pretty cool. I like the fact that you can do this. Like, this is one way to discover the pieces. So this is a GSO rock drill. And, of course, you need a three um, refinery to do this because you have to have three pieces in there at the same time. Two of the yellow ones and one of this one right here, which, again, is not too hard. What is this? Is this one of those wheels? Uh, little trekker wheels. In fact, yeah, that's... I know the trekker wheels I think we have. We don't have the stabilization wheel, which I'm thinking is one of these over here. It might be. I don't know. We'll have to look at that. Let's see. No, I guess they're just regular, regular things. I know there's uh, a stabilization wheel you can put on the back of your bot to give you that extra little uh, ability to turn on a dime, you know, especially if you have a, a pretty big and heavy bot and you don't have a lot of wheels on it, it can turn like a pig. <laughs> it's really, really hard to uh, maneuver around and it's just, it's it's one of those things where you kind of constantly have to keep, uh, you know, backing up and moving forward and backing up and, and trying to get over things, kind of like what you see what I'm doing with this bot to a certain extent, but with those, it's far, far greater. Hmm. Should we risk going out in the desert? Uh, I say, yeah, let's let's uh, give it a try. Now, when those invaders spawn, oh my god, w with a bot like this, they are incredibly hard. Because, again, they level up uh, to what your bot basically is at. And, again, with a bot this big, whatever they spawn is going to be filled with weapons, like breaming with weapons. And there's something out here. This looks like uh, a mortar, maybe? I think it is. I think it is a mortar. 
but I've already discovered it, which is why it's not there. But if I hadn't discovered it, that's where it would be at. Oh, come on, kill him. Kill him. Oh, oh, wow, he has a lot of mortars. Oh, yes, did he die? No, he didn't die, but he's almost dead. Blow him up. Yes, you are dead, punk. Blow up. That's always been my, my problem, is I get way too close to it too quickly. And that's, that's usually why I take a fair bit of damage. Let's go ahead and put these on the front of my bot. Put this up there as well. That's good. And uh, these other pieces I don't really need. I'll take a few of them and just toss them on here for extra cash. Again, I got a decent amount of cash right now, so I don't really need more. Uh, but, you know, those are the famous last words. I will, if I'm still playing this uh, in a couple of days, I will go ahead and make a really, really fast bot. Because one of our viewers wanted to see a fast bot that could uh, actually deal out a fair bit of damage. And the last one I had was pretty good, but the damage-wise, not so much. It needed more weapons, and it needed uh, something something to give it that boom. Because it could speed around like nobody's business, but as far as like taking on bots, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest. I think I could, I could, I think I could refine that a little bit. So that is what I'm going to try to do uh, when I when I build that new uh, venture bot. Come on, die. There we go. Let's see. Maybe we can take these apart. We'll, we'll try it at least and see if it will do anything with it. Uh, I don't think it will. Again, I don't think these have recipes, to be honest, at the moment. Yeah, it's not doing anything with that. So we'll attach to our bot, throw it off because we don't need it right now. Again, you always want to make sure that you pick them up and attach them to your bot at least once. Uh, to do that, or by doing that, you go ahead and uh, get the ability to make more, or buy more, I should say. You don't really get to to make more. You still have to figure out what the recipe is, if it has one. And unfortunately, those do not have recipes at the moment. Let's move these a little closer so they can get repaired. We'll put this right here. And that's pretty good. Now, I do love these uh, Venture Hailfire Rifle. Uh, they're amazing. They will literally aim at the target you're trying to kill rather than like the weapons that just shoot forward or the the mortars that just shoot in an arc uh, that one will literally target them to the best of their ability now if there's a whole bunch of weapons around it uh it's gonna be blocked by those as well come on kill him oh yeah nice come on. okay he's destroyed nothing left come on uh, i fired a little bit too long on that see we'll take these wheels apart if possible again I don't think it is I know I've tried these big wheels before I haven't tried those little small ones but yeah it doesn't look like it's doing anything there let's see come on do it do it, do it. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work we'll toss those off uh, attach these cuz just make sure 60 seconds invader coming Oh, we stayed out too long and I need to get out of this desert uh, the main reason for getting out once the invader spawns is that the last thing you want is two invaders at the same time. And while you're fighting one, there's always the chance that another one will spawn. Plus, there's no trees over here. And trees are my fuel. And I'm probably l running pretty low on the fuel. Let's look at the battery packs. Uh, no, they're only down one notch. Uh, now two notches. But again, when you're taking damage, they go down a whole lot faster. And so it's good to have, uh, you know, some, some resources nearby that you can kind of run over rather quickly that you don't actually have to destroy. And I do apologize for the lag. Again, when you have this many blocks, uh, it's just something you're going to get uh, from time to time. And it's because I left all these resources down on the ground. If I stop for a second, pick them up, uh, and have them uh, disappear, the lag pretty much disappears as well with it. Okay, where is it at? Where's... Oh, there he is right there in front of me. Come on! Die! Oh, wow. And they love to protect themselves with those tractor pads in the front. I don't know why, but it does seem to be a thing. Oh, no, he's ramming me. Well, you're stuck now. Let's see. Who's going to win this fight? This fight of just sitting there and uh, bronze, basically. It's just who can ram the other person uh, the hardest. Come on. Am I going to win this one? I don't know. I don't know if we're doing that much damage. It looks like we are. Come on, kill him. There we go. He is dead. Almost dead. We'll pick up this block, put it over here. Die! Oh man, is he gonna. Where's his bot? Oh, there it is. Man, it was hidden in there really well. 
Let's see. Can we take these apart? I think we can. We should be able to anyways. What is this? Just a regular piece. Got some weapons. Actually, we didn't lose uh, any weapons. Those shield generators are amazing when you finally get them uh, working. Again, they use a whole lot of power. So not something I would say put on there kind of uh, willy-nilly, but uh, definitely something to consider if you have the uh, the battery packs for it. And I definitely have the battery packs for it right now with, with like the 20-some-odd that I have. Let's see, what is this? Uh, another weapon. We'll have to rearrange those weapons a little bit. Um, more weapons here, I think. No, those are just regular pieces. What is this? Yeah, that's a weapon. And this looks like a radar. Nope, that's a weapon as well. Wow, he had a lot of weapons that survived. That's pretty rare. I usually don't have that many weapons survive. Hmm, should we put another tractor pad on the back? It's hard to resist these things, because they definitely do help you gather resources a whole lot faster. Let's go ahead and deconstruct those for the resources, not that we need it. Uh, let's see, any more weapons? No, no more weapons. That's it from that guy. And we didn't lose a lot. I call that a win-win on on definitely everything there. We're getting a little bit bigger. Again, I do want to come out here on the left a little bit more and put some more wheels down eventually. In fact, let's see what the what the recipe was for that. Scroll down a little bit. There it is. So you got two of these bluish purple crystals and then of course one of these regular uh, you know, ignits that pretty much are all over the place. It's just these things right here, these rocks uh, that are refined. We just have to refine those. And I do have a refinery, so if I ever get, you know, if I can ever discover a bot with uh, the pieces that I need, and I think that's one of the, the cool things about this game is that when you do get an invader who shows up, it's an, a player-made invader most of the time, and if they happen to do what I did, which is put all my base blocks on my bot, then when I destroy him, I have a chance of getting all of this stuff off of it. And that's all I need is just one piece to make this, to really get it working. And unfortunately, we just haven't gotten there yet. So I think we're going to go ahead and call the episode here, guys. Again, uh, I will be doing uh, daily episodes here uh, fairly soon in about 14 days, 12 to 14 days. We will be uh, making TerraTech uh, daily episodes. Also, I do want to apologize if the episodes in between there are kind of late and I don't do as many as I normally do because, again, I do have family coming down and... I only get to see them like uh, once or maybe uh, twice a year if I'm lucky. So I do try to spend as much time with them as possible. And this is one of the bots that I built earlier. And again, they still have that same little bug where he wants to ram me for whatever reason. I, I don't get why that's a thing. But tell him to harvest and he won't do anything because he doesn't have a, a tractor pad. Uh, in fact, I can give him one if he can hold it. I don't think he can hold it though. I think he'd be too overweight. In fact, he doesn't have anywhere to put it. Right there, maybe? Okay, well, you got it. Now go out and harvest for me, little buddy. Harvest. Well, it does uh, stop him in his tracks at the very least, and now he's not bugging me. So I'll take that as a win. Again, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed these episodes, please hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel. And let me know what you think of my bot. I know I didn't really get to show you too much of it in detail as far as where I have my pieces. This is pretty much where all my bot pieces are, and underneath it, I actually have the hover pad pieces giving me an extra little oomph around the, the heels so that I don't get stuck on them as much because this is a whole lot of weight to kind of uh, lug around. And the wheels, I went ahead and moved down as far as possible. I actually had to put these little uh, gray GSO blocks down here so that they would cling on to it and go down a little bit further. That's to make sure that I had uh, as, as much of a gap between the bottom of my base or my bot and the the hills that you go over because that's one of those things that you will get stuck on constantly until you get these bigger uh, wheels and I wanted to make sure this thing wasn't going to get stuck on the the really high desert terrain which is where I was taking him out and just exploring what was there so yeah I put those extra you know uh, pads on there to give it that that boost over them just in case they ever got stuck the only problem that I have found with those is they are incredibly weak and uh, when a bot comes down here and explodes, most of the time, these pads fall off. They don't get destroyed because I have repair bot or bubbles on, so they, they usually survive, but they all get knocked off, and it's a pretty big pain in the butt to, to pick them all up and put them down back here, because again, it's very hard to see underneath your bot, uh, unless you find a heel. Now, that's one of the things 
uh, I will get to on the next episode, I should say, guys, is that if you uh, you get to a hill and you come at it at an angle, you can kind of see under here a whole lot better than just doing it on flat land. I do wish there was an ability to kind of flip your bot over and see it from the bottom and design it that way, but as of yet, there is not. I did put some weapons down here on the sides to make sure that if I did get a small bot, uh, there was at least some protection down here. Now, these weapons that I have only fire straight, and so they're not exactly the greatest ones to have here. Uh, I would prefer to actually have all of these, uh, you know, venture file rifle uh, rail ones underneath because, again, those will aim at the bot or at the very least have these right here on the bottom because, again, these uh, light machine guns will aim at the bot as well. They're not nearly as powerful as the, the venture ones. They are, I think, a little bit stronger because they're GSO and venture ones are pretty weak. Uh, they weigh less, but they, they fire a whole lot faster. And so I just kind of tend to favor these as well a little bit more. But again, it's it's up to you what you have, what you are willing to pay for, and the ones that you like the most. So again, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.